right, happy Wednesday, you guys. So today's topic here at the Navarre Beach Sea Turtle Center, we're gonna talk about probably one of our most commonly asked questions, which is what is the difference between tortoises, turtles, and terrapins? So one of our awesome residents, Flip Flop here, he is a red-footed tortoise, so we're gonna use him as our example to understand tortoises a little bit better. We'll bring in safari a little bit as well. So the first thing we'll notice with tortoises is a lot of times it's their legs. So tortoises are gonna have these kind of blunt, little stumpy-like legs instead of flippers like sweet pea or sea turtle has. The other thing you'll notice too is their shell. So if we take a look at flip-flop shell, it's a lot more domed. It's not streamlined like sea turtles are. That gives them the ability to swim a lot easier through the ocean and through the waves. So another thing with our tortoises is tortoises can retract their heads entirely into their shell. Now sea turtles cannot do that and terrapins actually can do that but not as much as tortoises. So we'll look at Safari as well so you guys can get a really good look at him and his shell and his legs and how beautiful of an animal he is as well. So red-footed tortoise, this is Flip Flop. He's gonna say see you later guys. All right, guys, we've got Safari here. He is our African spurred tortoise. He's showing off those beautiful spurred legs. You guys can get a really good look at all those spurs on there that create essentially an armor for him. And like we were talking about our topic earlier, so the difference between tortoises, terrapins, and sea turtles. So we talked about how their shells are much more domed-like for tortoises. They have more of a blunt or a stumpy type of leg. He's pushing his little soccer ball right there. And the main big difference between them is also that tortoises are predominantly found on dry land. So when it comes to terrapins, however, they can go in either or. So you're looking at an animal that can go on dry land as well as into wetland areas as well. So we're gonna say bye to Safari and go look at our beautiful terrapin pumpkin inside of our center. We'll see you later, bud. There she is, and this is Pumpkin. She's our diamondback terrapin. Now, terrapins are semi-aquatic, which means they live on land and in water, and either fresh or slightly salty water. Now, when it comes to diamondback terrapins, they live exclusively in brackish water. So we can find them in our sound side marshes or even on the Gulf side sometimes as well since they prefer to nest on the beach. Now you'll notice with her shell, it's kind of more flattened since they spend some time swimming. So the slightly flattened carapace helps them swim along the water a lot easier than that domed carapace that we saw with our tortoises. Gosh, she's, she's just so cute. Hey sweetheart, you wanna say hi to everybody? To all your fans? She misses everybody so much. We miss everybody so much here at our center as well. Now, terrapins, she's showing off a really good view right now of those webbed toes or those webbed feet that they have. And so that not only helps her swim, but you'll also notice she has some beautiful claws and those help them walk along the land as well and dig as well. So she's just doing awesome. But not least is Sweet Pea, our green sea turtle. And so you'll notice with sea turtles, they don't have those short, blunt little legs. They actually have flippers. And so the flippers help them swim along the water, as well as that really flattened carapace, which is the top part of their shell, also helps them swim really effectively through the water without any major issues. So it's very streamlined, very easy for them to reach even some speeds up to about 20 miles per hour. Now, those of you that don't know Sweet Pea's story, you'll notice that she is missing her front left flipper. So she was severely entangled in fishing line and fishing net, and unfortunately the damage was so severe that they weren't able to save her flipper. So you'll also notice part of the top of her carapace is missing as well. And so that's predominantly from a boat strike. So given those injuries with Sweet Pea, she is a full-time resident with us here at our center. So we take care of her here, make sure she's really happy and most importantly, really healthy. Now, going back to our topic, we were discussing the difference between sea turtles and terrapins and tortoises. So we learned that tortoises have these short, blunt legs. They're found predominantly on the land. 
They have domed-like shells and they can retract inside of their shells. Now, when we talk about terrapins, they have a little bit more of a streamlined shell, not as much as sea turtles. They tend to have webbed toes that help them swim and they're found in semi-aquatic environments. And when we talk about sea turtles, they have flippers just like sweet pea here and they have really streamlined shells as well as sea turtles are found in the sea and in the ocean. That's why we're able to see them here in Navarre Beach as well as many other locations across the United States. So thank you guys so much for joining us on this awesome lesson today of the difference between tortoises, terrapins, and sea turtles. And we thank you guys so much for your continued support through this difficult time. And we just love doing videos like this for you guys to help you guys learn about these amazing, beautiful creatures. And if you haven't heard the awesome news yet, we have officially launched our online store. So if you are ready to get your cutest sea turtle plush animal or even one of our logo shirts, they are available online. We'll put the link in this video at the bottom as well. So you guys can get all your awesome sea turtle swag right here from the Navarre Beach Sea Turtle Conservation Center. And we thank you guys so much again for your continued support and we support you guys. So please message us, let us know some topics you're interested in learning about. We'd love to hear from you guys and we hope everybody has an awesome Wednesday.